Okay, in the last video I mentioned I'd do a review of these two monitor arms. Uh, so I figured I'd just kind of compare and contrast them, uh, help you maybe pick out a monitor arm at your price point, uh, if you're like me and kind of struggled to find it. Um, I'll have affiliate links for both of these in the description. Um, they're both on Amazon and they're both from the same company, uh, but they're kind of two different uh, specs. So we have the HNSS6 here, which is the cheaper one, but it uh, only supports up to 14 pounds, I believe, and it suggests like a 27 inch monitor. Uh, so that's your basic monitor arm. And then you've got a larger one here, the HNSS12, which is your uh, ultra wide monitor arm. It's listed as that on Amazon and uh, it supports a higher weight rating. And I believe it says it's up to 34 inches. I believe the weight rating is about 26 pounds. Um, don't count me on that, just check the Amazon listings before you buy. Um, but the first difference is the box size. Um, this one comes more disassembled, you just have to put these two arm pieces together. Uh, it's not complicated, they have instructions and they give you all the tools you need. Uh, but this one, the two arm pieces come together and they're basically banded together so when you release it they'll extend. Um, otherwise you have to put the bases and vase amounts on, um, not that complicated. Um, I'll move these out of the way so you can see them in action. So I have uh, the HNSS 6 here with my cheap little monitor. Um, I bought it because I just wanted it off the desk, but I didn't really want to spend that much money on it. Uh, I've got the HNSS 12 with my ultra wide, where I wanted to save money, but uh, I needed actually something that would support it. So uh, the main difference, obviously weight rating, uh, but that comes with different things like extensions and uh, how far you can extend it. So I'll show you that off, but uh, you've got the small little base here. I've got them both clamped down. Um, I have these bigger base here on the ultra wide. Uh, now the base difference, uh, other than the size, there's a bit more features with the ultra wide. So if you can see on the side there, uh, just barely there's a USB port. Uh, it's supposedly USB 3. Um, I haven't tested that out quite yet, um, but you have a little extension there. Whereas it doesn't exist on the cheaper one. It seems like there's cutouts, but they're not really there. Uh, both of them have the same feature set. So you have your up and down. I'll show it on the smaller one. So you got your uh, up and down. You've got your tilting. You've got your extension uh, far front and back. Uh, you can rotate it. You can tilt it. Um, so you can tilt it down like that. Uh, you can rotate it. 90 degrees or I think it actually goes 360. I haven't really tested it. Um, I have no need for it. But you can see here, uh, this is the maximum height that this one supports. Um, so for me, that's a pretty comfy uh, height viewing. Um, I, it'd be nice if it went a bit higher for me, but uh, for 50 bucks, it's not that bad. But with the ultra wide, you get much more reach with all this. So this one still has the same feature set. Uh, you can tilt it if you want, <laughs> which is kind of sketchy, but more importantly, you get much more height with this. So you can see how far up off the desk you can get. Uh, I can't even get it in the same camera shot unless I went like portrait. And it also goes all the way down to the bottom of the desk. So you can see here, I pretty much have it on the desk there. Um, if you like it like that, I don't know why you'd like it like that, but um, you can. And obviously, go back up to a more reasonable level and I can tilt it around to show you all the features. Um, so this one obviously had uh, a lot better cable management. Um, so on the other one, you've got a bit of cable management. I'll show them off. You've got smaller cable management here, but I don't see anything in the base to go through for cable management. So you're kind of stuck on that with just routing them through, routing them through the back. Uh, this works for me, but if you're more picky about cable management, then you want to probably get the upgraded one because this one, uh, you can see it goes back into the arm and it uh, comes out at the bottom here. So you kind of have better cable management and it all um, fits through. I have four cables coming out of here, some pretty thick ones like my display port. Um, I don't have a power since power is uh, just an uh, external power. Uh, this one has more of your regular power cable. Um, but you've basically got your tilt. Um, the one thing with the ultra wide mon arm, um, you'll probably need um, an actual wrench for that uh, with a little hex key. Um, I'll show you the Allen keys in a minute. 
But I found with this um, space cleave, you've got the tilt on the monitor and you can tilt it front or back, but I wouldn't suggest tilting it too much on this. Uh, maybe it was me, but I found it was pretty loose from the factory and over time my monitor would just slowly sag forward, uh, which kind of pisses me off because I just like to see it straight on. Um, so I kind of had to adjust that and uh, crank it down really with a wrench because the Allen key did not get enough leverage. Um, so that's kind of something to note if you like tilting your monitors, I don't. I just like them sitting straight on and um, basically you've got, I'll show it here, but basically it was tilting like that just over time and I believe that's because all the weight in this uh, Predator X34 is based on the bottom. Um, so basically uh, the parts that it came with is right here, I have all the extra parts. Uh, there's many more, but you have uh, screws for if you're actually drilling through the desk uh, or if you have, you've got plates for when you're, if you're mounting it through the desk, so if you have a little hole or you want to permanently mount it, you can do that. Um, I find the grips are enough. Uh, I never thought I'd really be saying that, but they, they seem to be enough so far. Um, I haven't had issues with them, they're just a twist grip. Um, you can adjust it, so right now I have it on the lowest adjustment for all of them. Uh, I don't have that thick of a desk. Um, it's maybe, I don't know, half an inch. Um, an inch? I don't know. I don't I don't work in inches that much. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying inches. But um, I find it clamps enough and you can usually get it, but you have little extensions too, so you can uh, clamp a much thicker desk. Um, the extensions on this one you bolt in and the extensions on this one are just a kind of locking mechanism. Um, so obviously the bolt-in ones are a lot more secure if you care about that. Um, I don't think it's much of an issue with really either of them. Uh, obviously it's nicer that the bolt-in ones are on the more expensive one. And uh, obviously this one you get much more reach with it too. I have this one far further out than I have this monitor. Um, but they're both pretty nice at just um, keeping my desk clean. So you can see here I have a lot more workspace with it. Um, I'll show you the old monitor stand I had for the Predator X34. Uh, it used to be this one. This was the one that came with it in stock. Um, so obviously you can see here this is where it mount, mount the monitor. This was about the middle. Um, you can already see I gain a bit of height from it um, just because you get this one didn't extend that far. Uh, I already found with this one it was kind of annoying me because it wasn't high enough and it doesn't fit keyboards well. Um, obviously you've got to have a wide stand for a wide monitor but um, I just found it didn't fit keyboards well and I wanted to put my keyboard up from my desk but I couldn't uh, and then also the height um, it's not bad height wise but I like looking up at stuff or looking directly at it rather than just looking down um, so obviously this is much nicer for me uh, this one had a height adjustment but even the max height was not uh, you've got it spring loaded because of the weight, but um, I found it's much nicer with this now. Uh, I used to have this stand sitting on the receiver and it worked okay. Um, the other thing too, the if you're wondering about the clamps, they do have little rubber feet. So it's like the uh, monitor arm here. They have little rubber feet to make sure you're not going to scratch the desk. Um, if that's important to you, so be it. Uh, I do not care about scratching my desk personally. <laughs> Uh, but it is nice that they care about it and there's kind of a rubber gasket on the top and bottom so you're not going to scratch it. Uh, hopefully that kind of went through everything. I don't think I forgot anything. Um, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I can kind of tell you how these have been. Um, both of them have tension adjusts, so if you've got heavier or lighter monitors, you can adjust that. I found from the factory they're not too bad and uh, I haven't had them sag at all for my monitors. Uh, so they've kept their height, they've kept their uh, positioning. Uh, obviously just I was careful the first couple days with the ultra wide. I had like a blanket under it just in case it fell. Um, but I didn't have it fall at all. It seems to be reasonable quality. Obviously I have if I have an issue, going to do a uh, update on that. But if you'd like these uh, kind of comparing videos, uh, you can like, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys do. And uh, I'll have affiliate links for them in the description, so if you want to buy them yourself, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't 
make that too excessive. Oh, and look at that, we're at 10 minutes.